Good hello, welcome to Whitey Skin, and even more so, welcome to TV Paint. Apologies for the gap. Every time I went to make a video on this subject, I would learn something new about the specific topic I was focusing on, uh, and would postpone to put it in, and that would kind of just repeat to the point where <laughs> nothing was getting done. So screw it! It's time to make something, and if more information comes up in the future, I'll make a note of it and keep you posted. Now, let's talk about the paint bucket. It has a number of interesting components that typically don't appear in other programs, giving it one heck of an advantage here. To start, select the paint bucket tool. Oh, and I'm gonna need something to, to fill in as well. So here's some schlops. Yeah, this is what, this is what a schlop is. Now click and hold anywhere in the region and you'll see that what is about to be filled becomes highlighted. Very nice, very handy. And when we let go, yep, it does what you would expect. That's good. But ah, it's a bitmap program, so it's leaving those white trimmings around the edges. That's bad, but that's okay, because in tool properties for the paint bucket, there is a slider called expand. This will push it out a little bit beyond its regular region. There you go, that's good. But now it's overlapping with the outline a little bit. That's bad. However, we can make a second layer, put it underneath the first, and change in the tool properties source to above. Right, so now what it's going to be doing is using the top layer as a template. That's where it's going to get its information from, but put all of the paint data on the layer below. So you can have an expansion or a feathering or something like that, and it will appear underneath your outlines. CTG Lays! It stands for Color and Texture Layer. Hmm. Now, despite the name of colors and textures, when in action, it simply looks like this. All right. Basically, each one of these strokes becomes a region of influence. Remember that in TV Paint, the brush is king. It's used for pretty much everything. Even the paint bucket itself has been outclassed by a brush. Wherever this stroke lies, its influence will go all the way out to the next outline, sourcing from the layer you tell it to, just like the other one. So not only is it time-saving, but it's also quite intelligent. Remembering where edges and gaps are, so when the shape is completed, it will fill back in again. There's much more to explore, but just a quick video to get us started. Plenty more TV paint on the way. Keep an eye out. Hope to see you then.